In this example, we are going to um, try to figure out what the equilibrium concentrations are for this reaction setup um, with this K value at equilibrium. Now the only thing we know for this are the initial concentrations. So this initially has 0 0.0250 molar concentration and initially the concentration of this is zero. Our job is to try and find what the concentrations for these are at equilibrium. So um, when this much is put in and there's none of this, this system moves towards equilibrium with a K value of this. So some amount of this goes away and because there are two moles of this formed for every one mole of this that goes away, this much of it ends up being formed. And at e that's our change. And then at equilibrium, 2x of this has formed and 0 0.0250 minus x of this is what remains. So these are the actual amounts that I need to find. It's just that for that pesky x. So um, the, what I do is I'm going to plug this in and get my k constant. So it's my products over reactants. So 2 over 2x squared over 0 0.0250 minus x. And that whole thing is, is equal to 0.36. And if I... Uh, Simplify this, that becomes 4x squared equals uh, 0 0.009 minus 0.36x. Okay, so all I did is I just multiply both sides by this expression. Now I've got this, and uh, that I can rewrite this way, 0.36x minus, oh, sorry, plus 0.036x, keep track of your signs, minus 0.009 equals zero. And this is what I can use to work in the quadratic formula. So if I get an expression that looks like this, you know, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, I can use the uh, quadratic formula. So I'm going to do that. Uh, the quadratic formula, you might remember, or you might not, x can be solved for in this way, the opposite of b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. All right, and so these values here, 4.36 and negative 0 0.009, that negative sign comes with it, get plugged into this, okay? Um, when you do that, uh, you get an expression that looks like this, negative 0 0.36. Now, why do I have that? Oh yeah, no, negative 0 uh, 0.36, that's right. Uh, because it's opposite of b, so opposite of positive is negative. Plus or minus, we don't know really which one's going to be most useful yet. b squared, so that's 0 0.36 squared, minus 4 times 4 times negative 0 0.009. All over 2 times 4. You're going to have to do some crunching in your calculator to, to get to that. Uh, it's simplifying this a little bit, negative 0.36 plus or minus the square root of 0.2736 over 8. And uh, when I evaluate this, I get uh, one of two expressions. So negative 0 0.36 plus, going with the plus one here first, 0 0.523 over 8. And that gets me to 0 0.0204, or negative 0 0.36 minus 0 0.523, because it's plus or minus over 8. And I get this negative number, 0 0.110. This number doesn't make physical sense, so I will ignore this number. Okay, so it's not going to be one that goes into my expression. So this is my x, and all I need to do is sort of plug that stuff up into these expressions. So my N2O4, that's equal to 0 0.0250 minus 0 0.0204. And that will come out to 0 0.0046 molar at equilibrium. And then my N2O, or sorry, my NO2 is going to be equal to two times this number, so two times 0 0.0204, and that's going to be equal to 0 0.0408.
molar at equilibrium. Okay, so those are my equilibrium concentrations. Did I do this right? Well, the easiest way for me to know is to plug this into my K expression. So, uh, my concentration of NO2 at equilibrium is 0 0.408, 0, 0408 I should say, and that number is squared divided by my equilibrium concentration of this, which is not squared, and when I do that, that comes out to 0 0.36. So I'm reasonably confident that I did this correctly. Okay, um, there's a little bit of math that goes with this. The quadratic formula is the only part that requires your just actual crunching of things, but um, outside of that, it's fairly intuitive to walk through.